Just making a short video on a Valiant Ecotech. Um, we generally don't install them, we just fit the Bosch boilers. Um, but here's the big reason. Um, it's actually burning really, really well. So this is nearly ten, this is about 10 years old, but it's actually in really good shape, so it's been looked after by the owner. Um, but we can see here that the previous um, person that serviced the boiler on the 20th of June, 2018, actually put a new graphite seal. So why would they have put that on there? Well, they'll tell you that it's really good practice just to change the seals on the heat exchanger, which is true. But the real reason is when this boiler first came out, the actual seal on the heat exchanger was made of silicon uh, because they were trying to cost cut and obviously uh, save a few pennies. Um, and in doing so, the heat proof silicon, which should, should have lasted, they got wrong. And the, this, this heat proof silicon seal or rubber seal became, uh, started to dry out, then became brittle and it started to fire. So they had loads and loads of boilers where the valiants were catching fire. So they actually went back to the original um, graphite seal, which doesn't catch fire. And at that point we stopped uh, installing valiants because obviously um, if we installed a boiler for you and it caught fire, I'd have to come over and apologize. It'd be very embarrassing. You and I could probably agree that, hang on, it's not my fault, I didn't make it, but your contract would be with us. And do you know what? I'm not gonna be having any conversations with customers saying, sorry, your boiler caught fire, it's a nonsense. Um, so a lot of it was all hushed up um, and wasn't really, um, I don't think it was, um, I don't think that the, they handled the whole situation too greatly. But so if you have a Valiant Ecotech, uh, just make sure that it does have the graphite seal uh, installed on the boiler so you don't have these problems.